This is News 8 Now at Noon. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for watching News 8 Now. I'm Ken Kozarowski. The FAA has lifted the ground stop that's responsible for major delays at U.S. airports nationwide today. As Michael George reports, the problem came from an overnight outage of a crucial computer system. The dreaded delayed sign greeted travelers as they arrived at airports across the country Wednesday morning after the FAA ordered all departing flights grounded for several hours following an outage of one of its computer systems. This morning when we woke up we heard the news so we thought we're just going to rent a car and not fly. The agency says the problem was an outage to its Notice to Air Mission System, or NOTAMS. It provides safety information to pilots. President Biden says he was briefed on the situation by Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. I just spoke to Buttigieg. They don't know what the cause is. President responded, we don't know, when asked about the possibility of a cyber attack. Though the White House earlier said there's no evidence of a cyber attack. While the ground stop has been lifted, there's still a ripple effect that could last throughout the day as things slowly return to normal. Thousands of flights have been delayed and hundreds canceled. We're going to be optimistic, but, you know, hopefully they get everything up and running. We've been delayed three times. Tamara Williams is trying to get to Miami for a connecting flight to Costa Rica. There are no more flights leaving today that would get us there on time, nor tomorrow nor Friday. This is the latest headache for U.S. travelers following flight cancellations over the holidays because of winter storms and a massive Southwest Airlines service disruption. Michael George, CBS News, LaGuardia Airport, New York. And that system outage also caused a little headache for some at the La Crosse Regional Airport. Airport Director Ian Turner confirms one flight to Chicago was delayed for just over two hours because of that outage. Turner says normal operations there have resumed, but he says it's too early to tell if the airport's two scheduled afternoon flights will be impacted. Turner says if you're traveling, please be sure to check with your airline for the most up-to-date flight information. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation is handling numerous crashes and road incidents thanks to icy road conditions. The first confirmed incidents happened around 5 this morning on I-94 between Toma and Black River Falls. Several vehicle crashes closed down a stretch of that interstate for well over an hour. According to WISDOT, crashes have closed I-94 west from Highway 21 and I-94 east from County O. Alternate routes are available. This is the scene across I-94 right now. You can see traffic is moving very smooth across the uh, area. Different story this morning, as Ken mentioned. There's uh, Highway 53 at County 00 in Chippewa. As we take a look here now, this is uh, I-94 over towards County Road EW in the Warrens area. Traffic is still backed up here uh, in this area. And then over at the uh, Wisconsin 29 area in Dunn County, you can see here, uh, it looks like traffic is uh, moving pretty smooth at this hour. Hey, we have sunny skies outside. Look at that temperature of 35 degrees at the airport. It feels like 35. Winds are out of the west northwest at three miles per hour. As we take a look here at the radar scan, a few little blips of snow being picked up across our extreme northeastern part of the viewing area, but that's really about it. Satellite radar, for the most part, everything is out. Clouds are dissipating, only to fire back up again as we go into the evening and overnight hours. Now, coming up in the first warm forecast, we're going to talk about temperatures dropping just in time for the weekend, but it's not going to last throughout the entire weekend as we will start to warm up as we go into uh, Sunday. Details on that in a few minutes. Ken, over to you. All right, thanks very much, Aaron. You bet. Well, documents marked classified discovered at President Biden's former office are drawing criticism and comparisons to the docudrama at President Trump's Florida residence. As Nicole D'Antonio reports, we finally heard from President Biden on the matter. People know I take classified uh, documents and classified information seriously. President Biden responded Tuesday to the discovery of documents marked classified at his former office in Washington, D.C. I was briefed about this discovery and surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office. CBS News has learned the president was informed on November 2nd, the day of the discovery at the Penn Biden Center in Washington. Another source says the documents from the time of his vice presidency had varying levels of classification markings, including some highly classified. They've turned over the boxes to the archives and we're cooperating fully, cooperating fully 
with the review. Republican lawmakers balked at the discovery. The irony, you couldn't write a book about this, right? And a House committee has launched its own probe, asking the White House for all documents from the personal office and a list of who had access to the space. And this is why we'll get to the bottom of it, because they treat people differently. The discovery is drawing comparisons to the investigation into former President Donald Trump's handling of classified documents after he left the White House. In that case, more than 300 documents were seized from Mar-a-Lago after Trump refused multiple requests to hand them over. Democrats say that's not what happened here. What President Biden did was disclose this to the archives, let law enforcement know, that is exactly the way that you should handle this. A source tells CBS News the Justice Department's review is largely done. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, the White House. The Republicans are also asking top intelligence officials for a damage assessment. The La Crosse County Executive Committee has appointed its next county administrator. The committee unanimously voted in Jane Claycamp to the position this morning, effective immediately. Claycamp has been serving as the interim county administrator and has previously held several other county positions. She was appointed associate county administrator back in 2015. Money from last year's opioid settlement is finally reaching Wisconsin addiction treatment and prevention programs. The state's Department of Health Services has so far given out $9.8 million of the more than $30 million it received. The money will be used on education and prevention, ma making free Narcan and fentanyl testing strips available, and grant funding for tribal nations. An emergency medicine doctor at Gunderson Health System says it's a step in the right direction, but there are still gaps. It doesn't go far enough for things like medication-assisted treatment. Um, in addition, uh, inpatient treatment services only had for residential treatment, I think two and a half million was slated for that, and th that won't go very far when it's spread across the entire state. Dr. Everline says since the pandemic, opioid overdose deaths have been on the rise. He adds increasing mental health services and prevention services can help people who live with addiction. The Wisconsin chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness is expanding its services. NAMI's mental illness support groups will now be available statewide. Via Zoom, the agency will offer free peer and family support groups each and every month. Leaders say these virtual services will be especially helpful for those living in rural communities. If you're up in the air about attending those support groups, their executive director says there are many benefits. And we have links to join those groups at news8000.com. Still ahead, a potential ban over a kind of household appliance. How the Consumer Product Safety Commission may move forward coming up next at Money Watch. Our locally owned Carpet One has a huge selection of floors. Uh-huh. At prices just as good as those big box stores. But you don't need a talking dog to tell you that. Well, at least big box stores are good for something. Huga, a calm, comfortable time with people you love. Often enjoyed with a good book, a warm blanket, and a crackling fire. Let La Crosse Fireplace Company help create this feeling in your home. Choose a heat and glow fireplace in gas, wood, or pellet. Stay warm and cozy with La Crosse Fireplace Company because your place is by the fire. We all know how weather goes around here. So why not take the first warn team with you? Stay weather aware with hourly temps and conditions, video forecasts, and interactive radar. And the best part? It's easy to use. Here, try it. You can count on the reliability of the First Alert weather app the same way you count on Cordell's Automotive with the reliability of your vehicle. With Cordell's Automotive and the News 8 team, you'll know you're safe. The support that we get from our managers or supervisors or even other people that work in the office that make sure we have what we need to the best ability. I went through a program, team lead development training, to help better my skills as a leader and help me progress further into the company. I appreciate that train invests in me to develop my leadership skills, whether it be in my career or even in my personal life. If you're looking for a great opportunity, I would definitely apply at train.
Update your appliances and save at Menards. Spruce up your home with appliances from Whirlpool. Check out the largest in-stock selection and upgrade to new energy-efficient appliances and save big money. Menards has everything you need to make over your bathroom, like this linear three-piece wall kit from Lions. Enjoy its slip-resistant shower floor and comfortable 18-inch tall seat. Start your next project today and save big money on tubs and showers from Lions at Menards. Save big money at Menards. For a great deal on stain-resistant floors, go to Carpet One. Here to floor you. Carpet One Floor and Home. Save big and get special financing. It was a good day on Wall Street with all green arrows on Tuesday. Chanel Call has the latest business headlines from New York. In a speech in Sweden on Tuesday, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said efforts to tackle high inflation by raising interest rates may not be politically popular, but added the Fed's independence makes it easier to make those decisions without social or political influence. Powell also said the Fed is not and will not be a climate policymaker. It's a stance that puts them at odds with environmental activists who've pushed central banks worldwide to take steps to restrict lending to energy companies. The head of the Consumer Product Safety Commission told Bloomberg News the agency is now considering a ban on gas stoves. This comes as evidence mounts there are risks to human health. In addition to climate change concerns, a December study found gas stoves are linked to 13% of child asthma cases. The American Gas Association said efforts to ban gas stoves should raise alarm bells for the 187 million Americans who depend on them. And there's an update to the bizarre story of a Missouri woman who was awarded over $5 million from GEICO after she allegedly contracted a sexually transmitted disease from a man inside his car, which was covered by the insurance company. GEICO is off the hook from pain for now after the Missouri Supreme Court ruled the company should have had a chance to weigh in sooner. The case was sent back to a lower court for further deliberation. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call. And as we head to break, we'll get a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us. More news is next. Save money and sleep better during the PM Mismatch Mattress Sale. Twin starting at $159, full start at $249, and queen pillow tops as low as $399. Shop the Mismatch Mattress Sale today only at PM Sleep Center, giving La Crosse a good night's sleep for over 30 years. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present Our Community Cares. The Pump House presents John Smith Friday and Saturday, January 13th and 14th for an evening of Irish folk music featuring special guests Dan Zabronik, Larry Dalton, and Elisa Smith-Waller. It's time for the Onalaska Show Choir Classic January 14th at the Onalaska High School Fieldhouse. Show choirs from around the area perform at the Onalaska Show Choir Classic. For more information on these events or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. Nobody thinks about their sewer or drain until it's too late. And oftentimes, problems that do arise can cause major damage to your home, property, and your family's health. Why not treat your plumbing right and choose Maxwell White? For just $99, we'll perform a camera inspection of your drain, looking for any potential problems that may arise in the future. So don't wait until you're in over your head. Call the fast, reliable professionals at Maxwell White. Maxwell White Plumbing. Jolivet Family Farms, known for farm fresh fruit and vegetables, but featuring so much more. Come see all that we have. Homemade bakery, large selection of locally produced honey, gourmet popcorn, craft beer, wine, and cheese, meat and seafood, arts and crafts, and so much more. There is no substitute for homegrown freshness. Open daily year round. Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. Save money and sleep better during the Mismatch Mattress Sale at PM Sleep Center. Choose from over 15 queen mattresses starting at $599 or less. Shop the Mismatch Mattress Sale only at PM Sleep Center. Giving La Crosse a good night's sleep for over 30 years. How experiencing racism can have an effect on pregnant women and how listening to music might lower stress. Dan Lieberman has some of the day's top health stories. 
A study from researchers at the University of Vienna found listening to music helped cope with stress during the COVID-19 lockdown. Music listening was also associated with improved mood, particularly for those with elevated chronic stress during the pandemic. The study included more than 700 adults in Italy and Austria who were prompted by a smartphone app to report their listening habits and stress levels while strict lockdown measures were in place. Alzheimer's researchers say a marker in the blood may help detect the disease years before patients show any symptoms. A study out of Iceland looking at an inherited form of the disease found a protein called GFAP is a possible biomarker for activated immune cells in the brain that could help diagnose Alzheimer's in its very early stages, allowing earlier treatment to protect against memory loss. And a recent study in the Journal of Advanced Nursing found black women experiencing racism had higher odds of depression during pregnancy. The study surveyed more than 7,000 women and found those who reported feeling upset due to experiences of racism in the 12 months before giving birth had over two times higher odds of depression during pregnancy compared to those who did not. Those are some of the day's top health stories. Dan Lieberman, CBS News, New York. Time now for a live look outside through City Cam 8. Eric Dean going to be in next with our full forecast. Get up to 80% off list prices during our huge inventory reduction sale at Slumberland Furniture. $20 million worth of furniture and mattresses must go. Lowest prices around on recliners, sofas, mattresses, and lots more. Slumberland Furniture. Yes, I'm a smoker. And yes, I'm aware I should quit. I get pressure from everyone I love and everything around me. Smoking is really, really bad for you. Yet sometimes that pressure alone is enough to make me want to light up. The Wisconsin Tobacco Quit Line. No judgments, just free help and medications. Without the lectures, call the Wisconsin Tobacco Quit Line at 1-800-QUIT-NOW. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line? You'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Up to 80% off list prices during our huge inventory reduction sale at Slumberland Furniture. $20 million worth of merchandise must go. Lowest prices around on mattresses, rugs, bar stools, sectionals, accent chairs, and more at Slumberland Furniture. The Board Store Home Improvements family wishes you a happy new year. Visit soon to plan your 2023 home improvement project. It's never too early to dream. All right, quick recap. This is I-94 at Industrial Avenue. This is near the Toma area. You can see a different story as compared to this morning where it was just gangbusters. We had the sheet of ice on the roads. Now you can see traffic is moving very smooth. Uh, I-94 at County O near the Milston area. Again, traffic is moving pretty smooth. Earlier we had a uh, semi-truck uh, off on the side of the road uh, on I-94. Here's Wisconsin 29 and Dunn County. You can see again, traffic is moving pretty nice at this hour. This is uh, County Road EW towards the Warrens area. And you can see right here where that semi truck veered off uh, on the interstate. And then last but not least, Highway 53 at County Road 00 in Chippewa. Again, traffic is moving pretty nice at this hour. Now the radar scan right now, we're seeing a little bit of snow across the extreme northeastern part of the viewing area, but that's really about it. Temperatures right now 
Not bad. We're sitting at 35 in La Crosse, 32 Eau Claire, 32 Ladysmith. Winona, you're at 34 degrees. Across uh, over towards uh, the Preston area, 32 degrees is your current temperature. Decor is at 36. Prairie to Sheen, good afternoon. You're at 36. Bosco Bell, you made it to 38 at the 12 o'clock hour. Volk Field, you're sitting at a nice warm, if you will, 33 degrees. So let's go ahead and take a look here uh, outside Eau Claire. You're sitting at 32 degrees. You have cloudy skies. It feels like 32. And the reason why is because you have a calm wind out there. Your dew point's at 30, so visibility issues, a little bit of a concern there. We're sitting at 35 degrees at the airport. Dew point's at 27. Humidity is at 72% with winds out of the west-northwest at 3 miles per hour. As we go to the afternoon and early evening hours, we're going to get to 39 by the 2 o'clock hour. We'll hover right around freezing for the mid-evening hours. By 8 o'clock, we'll be at 31 degrees. So we're on the back end of a low-pressure system. And this is going to do two things as we go into the second half of the work week. It's going to shift the winds more out of the north and northwest, and then it's going to drop those temperatures. Matter of fact, take a look here at Sky Tracker as we help you play in your evening. We'll stay mostly cloudy for Thursday morning. We'll see mostly cloudy skies for today. We'll see temperatures going into the 30s and low 40s. Prairie to Sheen, you'll make it to 41. Bosco Bell, you'll make it to 43 degrees. So here's Thursday morning. We'll see mostly cloudy skies. The clouds will start to dissipate as we go into the mid to late evening hours. So the first worn forecast for today, the precip chances, yeah, they're out of here. Clouds that will decrease throughout the afternoon. We'll see a high right around uh, 36. I think we're going to bump that up to about 38, 39. Winds will be out of the north at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. For the evening hours, we'll see temperatures hovering right around freezing. Or we'll see, yeah, see temperatures hovering right around freezing. We'll see partly cloudy skies, increasing clouds throughout the evening and overnight hours. The next eight days, we go to 32 on Thursday. A chilly 26 on Friday, back into the upper 30s, low 40s for Sunday, Monday. The only caveat to that, rain chances. Rain chances are not out of the question Sunday night going into Monday. So that may transition over to snow Monday night going into Tuesday. But man, Ken, what a crazy day on I-94. Yep, I mean, you can only hope people are as safe as they possibly could be. Absolutely. All right, thanks a lot, Eric. You bet. Coming up, a practical business lesson all on school grounds. The inspiration behind On Alaska's in-school coffee service. The Red Hot Deals are super hot this Monday through Thursday. Lay's Potato Chips, only $1.77. Banquet Pot Pies or Fruit Pies, only 98 cents. And Hy-Vee Orange or Apple Juice, only 99 cents. Only at Hy-Vee. Are you an experienced carpenter, window and door installer, flooring or tile installer, considering a new opportunity in the year ahead? The Board Store is the area's premier home improvement contractor, serving the community from the same location for over 33 years. Continued growth opens new opportunities. Good pay, good benefits and respect. No weekends or overnight travel. Begin a new career where skill matters and character is valued. Apply online or at the Board Store Home Improvements, 524 Copeland Avenue, La Crosse. Be comfortable this winter and save money on your energy bill. Warming Trends has stoves and fireplaces to fit your style and comfort needs. No power, no problem. Warming Trends has pellet stoves and radiant fireplaces and wood stoves that are not only efficient, but can continue to operate if your power goes out. Whether you're heating a room or your entire house, Warming Trends has the product you're looking for. Stop into Warming Trends today. Highway ZN on Alaska. Let's drew it. Fantastic. You're here. It's fantastic. Amazing. Just staying out way. I love it. Baby, do you feel me now? Feeling it. Oh, give us a pint of the good stuff, Drew. We kind of crushed it today. I do love this stuff. Yeah. Hy-Vee Red Hot Deals are super hot this Monday through Thursday. Hy-Vee Frozen Vegetables, only 68 cents. Select Lunchables or P3, four for only $5. And Sara Lee Honey Wheat or Butter Bread, only $1.49. Only at Hy-Vee. Expect more from News 8 Now. Thanks for watching.
Well, a good cup of coffee can absolutely change your morning. And special education students in Onalaska, they're working hard to serve that up to other students and teachers. Ana Java is a student-run coffee shop right inside the high school. Kids from the special ed classes buy the product, open the shop, and serve coffee, apple cider, tea, and hot chocolate in the morning. And all the cash that they make goes right back into the business. Our goal is basically just to make enough to uh, continue the business and get our students the practice that they need and job skills and work skills. The coffee shop has been running for years, but the teachers say it spiked in popularity when they started offering cold brew options. Students can get coffee on Tuesday and Friday mornings and deliver coffee to teachers on Wednesday mornings. Stay with us. Eric will have one more check of your forecast when we come back. Where's the best place for local, fresh, quality meat? The Holman Locker and Meat Market, of course. Purchase a minimum of 25 pounds of 90% lean ground beef for $4.99 per pound or 85% lean for $4.69 per pound. Shop local at your Holman Locker and Meat Market. Oh, that's full service. Pull in there, Michelle. Oh, yeah, okay. Fill her up. With the good stuff. You got it. Oh, and can you check the oil too, please? Sure. That car has no oil. It's Sleepy Hollow. We are your full service dealership. 102.7 WKBH. Hey, it's Kelly Wilde from Magnum Media, and I've been getting inklings. My wife Susie telling me that 102.7 WKBH is on all over the place. Well, now the results are in, and thank you very much. Out of all the radio stations in La Crosse County, you made 102.7 WKBH number one. Wisconsin. It's easy to take for granted how we warm up, but what if you couldn't warm up so easily? For many, it's a reality they can't ignore. Working families, elderly, disabled, and veterans struggling to keep their heat and power on in the dangerous cold of winter. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safe in your home. No one deserves to suffer when we can help each other. Home and Locker and Meat Market, your place for fresh, quality, local meat. Now is the time to stock up with our winter bundle, which includes drummies, top sirloin, beef roast, pork roast, chicken, ground beef, and ring bologna. Eat healthy, shop local at your Home and Locker and Meat Market, and much, much more. One final look the next eight days. We have temperatures staying in the 30s for today, upper 20s, low 30s for tomorrow, mid 20s for Friday. Saturday, we go back to 34 degrees, upper 30s, low 40s with rain chances will be the rule for Sunday going into Monday. Ken? Very much, Eric Dean, and thank you for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.